Good morning. The Bank of Canada left interest rates. God, I'm just conditioned to say they raised rates. Um, the Bank of Canada left rates unchanged at this morning's interest rate announcement, which was kind of expected. Uh, but the path forward continues to be muddied by uh, the stagflationary backdrop. And for those who don't know, stagflation is when growth is slowing and inflation is high. It's not a, a very fun combination, as I'm sure we can all attest to. Um, but yeah, inflation stepped up month over month with CPI going from 2.8% to 3.3% in, in July. Um, I mean, we've talked about this a number of times earlier this year. I mean, that was kind of expected. I mean, it was the the second half of 2022, the second half last year around this time where inflation, you know, started to come down or was coming down uh, to close out the year. And the way that inflation works, you're always looking at the month, the, pri- the month of the prior year. Um, you know, we're facing easing comps as we go towards the end of the year here, which is going to make um, getting to that 2% inflation target by the end of the year extremely difficult without a, a serious economic downturn. Um, you know, particularly with how much the price of oil and gas has gone up. That was not banked into the, the Bank of Canada's inflation models. So I think it's safe to say inflation will be higher for longer. Um, on the growth side, uh, in Q2, our economy shrunk by 0.2%, uh, so an annualized pace of 0.2%, 0.2%, which, you know, considering the new reports that are already gargantuan immigration numbers have been understated to the tune of around 1 million. One million. Think about that. Our population is what, 40 million? I think the official number was we brought in 1.2 million new Canadians over the prior 12 months. And now we're finding out there's actually a million more than that? What a complete joke. Like, take a moment to think about how ridiculous that is. Inflation has been the biggest issue in Canada for the last two years. We had supply constraints, which were causing price pressures, followed by the biggest money printing in our history, which furthered price pressures, followed by the largest immigration numbers by a country mile. Like we normally would bring in around 400,000 new immigrants per year. Our population is 40 million. So, you know, what's our population growing at? 3 to 5% per year? And our economy contracted by 0.2% annualized? Think about how bad things actually are on an individual basis. Um, but bond yields, they've continued to rise since May. I mean, with fixed rates straddling between the mid fives to the low 7% range, depending on the term and if the mortgage is insured or not. So, so rates are certainly high. Um, as of yesterday, consensus, uh, Bloomberg uh, survey uh, was pricing in the next move um, in interest rates by the Bank of Canada as being to the downside with a cut being priced in for as early as, as April uh, of next year. But as we've seen time and time again, I mean, those estimates are about as accurate as uh, stats can uh, population counting. So Read into it what you like. Um, that's it for me. If you or anyone has a mortgage coming up in the next 12 months, please get in touch. It's always worth locking something in, and then we can wait and see what the coming months brings. Thanks, and have a great day.